you're old enough to draw enough from the experiences of you remember that one situation i think it was in pennsylvania where the state decided that they were just going to collect the 10 percent and then they had all these forfeitures but of course they never bothered following up on those missed appearances and then it was close to like a billion dollars that was outstanding that they just didn't do a thing about well that was in philadelphia it was in philadelphia okay uh, philadelphia inquire did a i mean a major uh, investigation into the 10 percent program cash program that uh, they were um that they had in philadelphia and really what they came to find out because i con the concept behind 10 percent cash bail is the bonds ten thousand dollars someone goes and puts a thousand dollars up and they're supposed to be responsible for the other 90 percent if the person fails to appear okay so if there is a fail to failure to appear they forfeit the bond and they're supposed to collect the other 90 percent from mom or dad they never collected any what basically this expose came out is they weren't collecting anything basically they were taking the 10 percent to pay their pay their administrative costs or do whatever it is that they wanted to do there with that county level. And I had all these failure to appears and no one was showing up to court. So they really exposed them. And the, the billion dollars was basically the uncollected portion of the bail. So the remaining unsecured 90%, they kind of came, they came up with a number of $1 billion in lost revenue from forfeited bail. Uh, because that's what 10% bail is. It's just an air sandwich. It's basically just the way that the court competes with the bail agent. Okay, the bail agent charges 10% or the, around that number, depending on the state. Well, we're going to take 10% to the court. We're going to act as the bail agent. Okay, and then we will give the money back to the person when he felt, when he goes to court. Well, more often than not, that money that they show up to court, don't show up to court, is forfeited. Or if they do show up to court, there's typically fines and costs and, and um, uh, public defender fees taken from that money. So basically escrowing their costs is really what they're doing. Whether or not shows up, anyone shows up to court or not, the court just says, oh, well, that's what we have a sheriff's department for. They'll go get the people. Well, one forfeiture becomes 10, 10 becomes 100, 100 becomes several thousand. So it's just, a, it's a scheme. It's a cash, it's a scheme to generate cash for the courts. It's not, it's not intended to guarantee appearance, even though the court would probably try to to sell that to you but we call that the um you know the 90 percent discount in indiana which is basically what it is i mean if they were concerned about poor making it easier for people to to uh to get out of jail then if you're going to reduce the bond by 90 percent just set a bail bond on that amount and then they basically the person can post you know pay 10 percent of that number and then get out you know very easily but they don't want to do it that way because the court wants the cash so so Illinois has that, uh, they've just done cash forever, like Kentucky uh, cash, Oregon does cash. So, you know, these are states that uh, they kind of get hooked on that cash, right? So they're, they're public, um, their government, they're not supposed to be uh, um, capitalist, if you will, competing against uh, uh, private industry, which is what they're doing here. But once they get the that cash in and they look back over the years like, holy cow, we brought in several million dollars in, in 10% cash money that we were able to collect all these fines and costs. This is a great thing. Well, they're not even looking about the failure to appear. It's just like, look at how much money we got. Um, and they're getting money without risk, okay? When we get paid money, we're getting paid because we're assuming a financial risk, okay? So we know that if we pay a $10,000 bond, we made just a couple hundred dollars on that bond, really, when you net it out. So now we made paid out ten thousand dollars on a situation where we made netted a couple hundred dollars. It takes a lot of bail to be written to make up that ten thousand dollars. So we can't afford to take loss. Okay, that's why we have a uh, that's why we have a very low paid loss. You know, we might have it fluctuate on what our forfeiture percentage is, meaning failure to appears, but it's how good you are at resolving those forfeitures before they actually have to be paid.